Hey everyone, Steve Malloy here. The Surgeon General is out with a new report trying to scare everyone about alcohol consumption and cancer risk. He wants Congress to change the label on alcohol containers to warn of cancer risk. Here's what you need to know. This chart is a summary of the epidemiology on alcohol and cancer as summarized in a 2021 study by the International Agency for Research on Cancer, or IARC. It shows averages of published correlations between light, moderate, and heavy alcohol consumption and various types of cancer. I've posted the chart on junkscience.com so you can see it more easily. The traditional rule in epidemiology is that correlations below 2.0 are weak, spurious, and unreliable. The reason for this rule is that epidemiologic data are usually not of very high quality and not sufficiently reliable. Selected publication of weak correlations based on low-quality data between common exposures and common diseases is just garbage. So using that rule, all the correlations to the left or that cross my red line at 2.0 are weak, spurious, and unreliable. That leaves the three correlations on the right. They correlate heavy consumption of alcohol with oral and pharynx cancer, larynx cancer, and esophageal cancer. Light and moderate consumption of alcohol are not associated with any cancer, including breast cancer. This makes perfect biological sense as the digestive tract cancers occur where the tissue is directly and repeatedly exposed to the highest concentrations of alcohol. The Surgeon General estimates that alcohol consumption causes 100,000 cases of cancer and 20,000 deaths from cancer per year. This is nonsense. It is not possible to credibly make such estimates. The epidemiologic studies used to make these estimates are only good for associating heavy drinking with the incidence of cancer. That is, just making the connection between the exposure and effect. They are not at all appropriate for determining risk. First, the studies are not large, randomized, and controlled, and so cannot possibly offer valid information on population rates of alcohol-linked cancer. Next, cancer is an individual phenomenon. Some people are genetically at risk for cancer from alcohol exposure, and others are not. Consider this man, who lived to be 112 years old and credited regular whiskey consumption for his longevity. You might also think of Winston Churchill, who famously drank all day, yet lived to be 91. I'm not recommending heavy alcohol consumption, I'm just explaining the biological reality of cancer risk. Some people are prone to cancer, others are not, and research has yet to develop a means for reliably detecting who is at risk. To the extent it makes sense to warn people of the risks and dangers of drinking too much alcohol, and that's really the risk, drinking too much, the Surgeon General has jumped a shark with his report, as Surgeon Generals often do. 27 years ago, I co-authored a Wall Street Journal op-ed about getting rid of the position of Surgeon General. Now would be a good time for Congress to do just that. Stay up with the latest in junk science, follow me on x at junk science and on my website junkscience.com. Thanks for watching.